Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at uh, what this term bod mass means and how it plays a role in everything we are going to be doing throughout maths literacy. So first of all, what does bod mass stand for? Well, if we go B, that is for brackets. We've got O for of or our order. We've got our D for division, M for multiplication, we've got A for addition, and then last but by no means least, subtraction. So there are our letters that make up bod mass. And what this is saying to us is if we have uh, a problem that we need to work out. So if we've got three plus two times six and we are looking for that answer, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our bod mass and say, well, are there brackets? Is a division multiplication? Ah, multiplication first. So in essence, this according to bod mass will be three plus bracket two multiplied by six. We know that answer is 12, so it'll be three plus 12, and that will give us our answer of 15. Now, what if we take the exact same thing, but this time we say, let's say three divided by two multiplied by six. If we look at bod mass, what is it saying to us? Division comes first. So now it will be three divided by two multiplied by six. And then whatever that answer is, we will multiply it by six and that's how we'll get our answer. What I'm trying to show you here is the fact that with bod mass, it helps us to work out exactly what needs to be done first. So if, for example, in a scenario like this, you've got brackets in place, you would do what's inside the brackets first. Sort that out, do what you need to, and then move according to the rest of bod mass. So guys, I hope that helps you with bod mass. Uh, but maybe let's just look at one or two examples. So let's look at an example. Let's go 3 plus 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 9 equals, well, we're going to find out. So if we look at this, according to bod mass, we, we see that we've got division first and multiplication second. However, when we look at our actual sum, we need to um, work from left to right. So the first thing we're actually going to come across is multiplication. And this is why it's going to be bracket 6 times 3 bracket divided by 9. Okay, so I hope we understand how we got there. Then I'm going to go to the next level. 3 plus 18 divided by 9. Okay, so what's going to happen now? I'm going to be um, dividing because that's the next one. 3 plus 18 divided by 9, we know that's 2, and therefore my answer is going to be 5. So just bear in mind that even though when we look at bod mass, it's got division multiplication, we implement that from the left to the right. And the first thing that we find is multiplication, and we do that. Then we implement division, so we implement, basically it would look like this, and then we finish off our sum. Let's look at another one. 3 plus 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 9 equals, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay, so from left to right, what do we have first? We've got our brackets, so that becomes 9 times 3 divided by 9. What are we going to do now? According to left to right, what's the next thing we've got? It's our multiplication, right? So we already know what that is. And the last thing we've got to do is divide, and that becomes three. Okay, so you can see I'm implementing bod mass from left to right. That is why I'm first doing my bracket. Once I've got my bracket, then I implement the multiplication. Um, and then the last thing from left to right that's there is division. 40 rand divided by 2 multiplied by 3 minus 
a half of 26. Okay, so immediately our eye sort of goes to this root over here, half of 26. Now you'll remember when we say half um, of, we actually say multiply. Okay, so I'm just going to write this down. Our 40 Rand over here divided by 2. Now when it comes to bod mass from left to right, what's going to happen? That's going to be in one bracket because that's the sum we're going to do there first. Whatever that answer is, we'll multiply it by 3. And we're going to subtract that from, I'm just going to put this in a bracket. Again, there's our multiplication. So half of 26, that is 13. You see where I'm going with this? Now we divide it, we've got 20 times 3 minus 13. And again, from left to right, what's the first one there? Multiplication, so it is 60 minus 13, and that'll give us 47. So guys, I hope you understand now what bot mass is and how we implement it, as you can see in the examples I've shown you today.